One of the core purposes of Amplitude Recommend is audience management, the process of creating and activating different audience segments so that you're targeting the right user with the most relevant message at the most appropriate time. The first step in doing this is to segment your users based on key behaviors or attributes. There are two key ways you can create audiences, by using behavioral cohorts and computations. Behavioral cohorts lets you create behavior-based audiences. You can create behavioral cohorts in a number of different ways, including from the cohorts definition page in Amplitude Audiences, or the cohorts definition page in Amplitude Analytics. Both of these pages look and function in exactly the same way. Related to behavioral cohorts is the idea of predictive cohorts. Behavioral cohorts of users are grouped together based on actions they have triggered or properties they have exhibited in the past. Predictive cohorts of users are grouped together based on actions Amplitude predicts they will take in the future. We'll be covering predictions later in this course, but for now, just keep in mind that conceptually they function similarly to behavioral cohorts. And if you want to learn more about leveraging behavioral cohorts, we have a whole course in Amplitude Academy dedicated just for that. The second type of segmentation tool we'll talk about is called computations. A computation, also called a computed property, is a way of quickly creating a new user property from an existing event or event property. Computations are great for situations where you want to look at something like the total number of times an event was triggered, the aggregate value of a property, or the first or last value of a property. The computation can then be used in a cohort definition to create a more sophisticated behavioral cohort, as a filter in any amplitude analytics chart, or in a sync to a downstream destination. We'll go over more examples of how you can use computations in the next section of this course.